Welcome back. We are here looking on Ether, looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly on Saturday and Sunday. So basically in the weekends and on Monday session, this does not look like a very a bullish candlestick. So I know there was a lot of people writing to me basically on the, on, on our channel that we are probably going to, to crack 20,000 at this stage. Uh, I'm not that certain, maybe, probably, but we need to get uh, past these levels here. And they are they are basically significant resistant at this point. If we manage to take out this top, this is basically the highest that where we got this 19,886, then yes, probably. If you look at technical indicators, they are basically all over the place at this stage. The MACD is bearish on the one hour chart. The stochastic is bullish, the CCI is, well, is flat, and the RSI is also flat. There's a lot of room to the upside. We're not overbought, we're not oversold, we are at 61 at this point. So, yes, there is a possibility that we are going to have another go at the 20,000. But this candlestick here is not looking very impressive. At this point, I would not be surprised if we roll over, head back towards the 20 exponential, but we have... Uh, we can basically see a uh, support line here, which we also have to crack. So we ran into this uh, support area here twice in the last uh, four weeks. And we basically need to break this uh, support line in order to go towards the 50 moving average. So there is a lot of support underneath. So it is quite likely that we'll just bounce from the support line until we get to the 20 exponential not 20, 20,000 uh, level, sorry. So if we write this up, there is quite a lot of resistance here and we need to get through this resistance. We basically tested it today and you can see we didn't get anywhere. So it may well be that we roll over from here and then just go towards the 20 in the long run and not just completely um, explode to the upside. It will most likely be a gradual grind if that is the case. But if we break this support line, we'll head towards the 50 moving average. That is at 16,885 at this point. And if that breaks, we are going significantly lower. We can look at the Fibonacci retracements uh, for, for, sorry, for Bitcoin. And we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at 16,000. The second one is roughly at 15,000. And the number, the 61.8 is at 13,700. So there is also the probability that we are going lower. But there is a lot of support underneath, as we have seen. The 20 exponential is supportive. This trend line here is supportive. And the 50 moving average right underneath should be even more supportive. So it will probably be a gradual grind to the upside in this case. We'll probably go in towards this triangle here and then we'll have a shot at 20,000. That's probably what is going to happen in this case. But this is an encouraging sign. It's, if I were to make my bet at this point, I would say we were more bullish than we are bearish at this stage. Every time we have tried to break down significantly, we have rallied and so on. And that is a very encouraging for a sign for those that are bullish in Bitcoin at this point. Uh, but I would not buy it here. Definitely not. I would wait until we get close towards uh, this support line in order to buy it. And to sell it at this stage, well, you could. But I would not sell it until we basically are in the RSI is basically above 80. That's where I would start selling this. So let's look at Etro. And it's a fairly similar story here. We rallied in basically in the weekend. 
from all the way from 538 up to uh, 591. And then we broke down again towards the 20 exponential and rallied again. So the technical indicators for Ethereum are basically all over the place as they are for Bitcoin. MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is flat and the RSI is flat. So there's a lot of room to the upside and the trade for this cryptocurrency is very similar to what those of Bitcoin. We have, sorry, we have a top here and we have this support uh, line here. And if we break the 20 exponential, this will be supportive. If this breaks, then we head towards the 50 and that will be significant support. Those are a lot of support underneath here. So we are heading slowly up into this corner. And when we get here, we'll most likely break to the upside. We are still trading and trending upwards. And therefore, there is no reason to expect a completely collapse in this market. We're just going to see more of the same heading towards into this corner. And then we're going to break above 611 or 600. So it'll be a lot of choppiness. Um, but in order to buy into this, I would not buy it until we get towards this trend line and see that we basically rally from there. Then it's possible, well, possible basically to buy it. To sell it at this point, 20 exponential is, uh, is uh, supportive. The trend line in here is supportive. And so is the 50 moving average. So I am favoring the upside at this point. So let's see what happens. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button, see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our single service, our live trades, and also our full technical analysis. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.